up my britches if you are new here hello my name is Brittany, and today it's time for another episode of new make re- new makeup releases damn i can't fucking talk today what's good what's popping everybody happy motherfucking monday this is what always happens when i film a wedding i break down all of my equipment i come back and i'm just like why did i do that <laughs> so if you're new here We come back every single Monday, typically at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and we just chitty chat and talk all sorts of shit about new makeup releases, and we also drink at the same time. So tonight we're kicking it back with the Truly Lemonades tonight. (sighs) Damn. It's been a day. Busy day. I think I'm going to use the Wayne Goss, and we're going to talk about all sorts of stuff. So if you guys like these types of videos, make sure you guys not only thumbs up this video, Check out the description box. This was inspired from Samantha March's Will I Buy It series. So I have her down below. I have her community playlist down below. If you love these videos and you want to binge, that playlist is down there. Everything we talk about will be linked down below. Most likely the things that I put on my face will, it'll be probably be in a, like a pinned comment, you know, I'm all over the place already. All aboard the Hot Mess Express, everyone. Y'all know this if you're familiar, but if you're not. You better get ready for a ride (laughs) because it's always a hot fucking mess up in here. So before we get into the new makeup releases, guys, if you tune in every week and you're not following my ass on Instagram yet, I don't know what the problem is here. Help me figure this shit out. Okay. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on TikTok. And now we can get into the new makeup releases. We talk about beauty news and sneak peeks first, and then we get into the new products And I do my makeup at the same time. And by the way, my pimple says hello to everybody. Okay? (laughs) Because damn, this bitch does not want to go away. It's just taking up like residency on my forehead. So I'm going to keep talking about this until it actually happens. So here we go. Holiday savings events for a VIB sale. It's coming up November 5th. I was at Sephora today. As a matter of fact, I went to, I went to do some, you know, some bar shopping, made a pit stop at the mall on my way back and I stopped at Sephora and the stuff that I got, I actually left upstairs cause I just got some like brow products. Cause whenever I run out of my Huda Beauty brow pencil, I get like an immediate backup cause I know I'm going to run out <laughs> cause I go through that so quick. So Rouge, you could shop the 5th through the 15th, VIB the 9th through the 15th, Insiders the 11th through the 15th. off for Rouge, 15% off for VIB, 10% off for Insiders. Use code YAYHOLIDAY. If I was like VIB or Insider, I wouldn't even fucking bother. Just me and my personal humble opinion. Because you can get like 20% off pretty much like everywhere during this time of the year. So there's that. I'm a Rouge. I will definitely be purchasing from that sale because I always do. Because I love it. I love Sephora. So... Do you guys want to see like what's on my wish list, like that type of video? I do plan on doing like recommendations probably within those first like four days of November, you'll be seeing your recommendations. I think I'm going to do top 10. I may end up doing more than one, like one more gift concentrated video. I'll let you guys know. You'll see it. Again, follow me on Instagram if you don't already. And then another exciting one, Beautylish, the gift card event. And this might be relevant to one of these purchases we're going to talk about later today because there's a new product launching. I'm like, oh, bitch, if it launches during this gift card event, I'm going to be pumped because she's fancy. So I think, let's see, Thursday, October 21st. So this starts in just a couple days, starting at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, 12 Eastern Standard Time. For four days only, earn $20 Beautylish gift card for every $100 you spend. So technically it's like buy now, save more later, which these sales typically are not my favorite, but I do love shopping through Beautylish. I have a really great experience, like almost every single time that I've shopped with them. I've had a few, you know, problematic moments, if you will, but overall, I feel like the shopping experience did used to be, what the fuck was that? Did you guys see that? Oh my god, bug. Don't know what it was. Hopefully it it went away. (laughs) That like tripped me out. I can't even remember what the hell I was saying right now because that just like scared the shit out of me. (laughs) 
So do you guys like the, like the Beautylish gift card event? Cause like I said, I usually, I don't go crazy. Like I definitely spend more money like during VIB sale, but you know, I usually hit that like hundred dollar mark just to get that 20, like the $20 gift card. But yeah, these typically are not my favorite, but it's like, if you've been eyeing something, I don't fucking know. <laughs> Patty's like, bitch, we saw it. <laughs> Color pop is back with a vengeance. Damn. So let me know if you guys plan on shopping it. It depends on when this other... Oh, I forgot to blend that one. I'm like, I see something on my face. It depends on when that other product drops, where I'm going to buy it. So we shall see. Next thing we have, bitch. If this is anything like the Matt Cosmetics release that came out, I'm about to shit my pants over Mariah Carey Beauty. Do y'all remember this? Like, do y'all remember the matte collection that she did? Supposedly, supposedly, okay? She was the one that was, like, the stickler when it came to the packaging for that collection. I don't know if that's true or not. I don't work at matte cosmetics, so I would not know. But damn, if that's true, her packaging's about to be fire. I could totally see this being, like, a luxury brand because it's Mariah Carey. Like, I don't know. I'm still, like, super pumped over this. Like, I know some people don't get super jazzed over, like, celebrity makeup lines. But I'm like, you know what? She came so hard. <laughs> that that did not sound right. You guys know what I'm saying. She came so hard, like, in the makeup industry with that matte collection. So I'm over here, like, if it's anything like that bitch I'm ready because that packaging was 20 out of 10 so fucking fire so I don't think we know anything like about this brand yet I think it's just like hey Mariah Carey probably filed like a trademark or something like that like some paperwork had to have been found for this to be like makeup news but damn <laughs> <laughs> Bethany she said who, who rewound to see the fucking bug <laughs> Y'all are probably going to post it on your Insta stories and say, see, this is why we follow this hot ass mess. <laughs> Just bugs flying throughout my house. Like the fuck. <laughs> and it's freezing out. Like, aren't these bugs supposed to be gone when it's cold out? Because I'm not ready. I'm not ready for cold weather. Any hoosies. Mac Mariah Carey, or not Mac Mariah Carey, just Mariah Carey Beauty. Not anything to do with Mac. Coming soon. We don't know when. Just beauty news. I'm fucking hyped about it. I'll be ready and waiting for Mariah Carey Beauty. There we go. Next sneak peek. So we don't know like when this is launching or anything like that. This is Adept Cosmetics. Ugh, I fucking missed the last palette. The Amunet New. The one with the red packaging. I missed that when it dropped because I was filming a wedding. So I didn't pick that one up yet. I think it was available for pre-order. But listen, I'm so fucking order pre-orders so over it. Like <laughs> I ordered the Terra Moons and I just got notification that they were shipping today. So those will be coming. But I'm like, I hate ordering so much pre-order stuff because then everything comes at like the same time and it stresses me out because I'm like, I have all of this makeup and I haven't even touched it yet. It's bullshit. But I understand why they do it. So they're coming out with a 12 pan Vertigo palette coming in 2022. Super early sneak peek. Like I love seeing sneak peeks because I'm nosy as fuck. But then again, I also don't love sneak peeks in the same breath because it's like, am I going to give a flying fuck about it when it actually gets here? Because you see it like so long ago. I saw a lot of people saying this about the Hermes highlighter. Like we saw it so long ago, like people didn't even care. I hope that's not the case with this palette. I got a hair in my mouth, I think. I can taste it. So I don't know. I'm curious. I like seeing sneak peeks, but I understand like why some people don't, especially when it's like a whole fucking year away. <laughs> <laughs> so that's coming to Adept Cosmetics. And speaking of the Hermes highlighter, y'all fucking know I ordered this like ASAP. As soon as I saw it, there it is. I just got it. As soon as I seen that this Hermes highlighter was available. So initially it was available on Selfridges. That's where if if you saw this post on my Instagram, I had it linked at Selfridges. I think now it's at like Nordstrom, Saks, Bloomingdale's. Like I feel like it's at a lot more retailers now. I think mine has shipped. So please believe you're going to see it in a future video. But 
damn, I'm so ready. But I'm like, wait, I thought they were doing more. Listen, Patty, don't start with me. I thought they were doing more shades of this. It's the embossing that got me. Like, I have seen not really, like, the best reviews as far as the quality. But then I've seen some pictures, like, the quality looks like trash. But then I've seen other highlighter pictures that it looks amazing. So, naturally, I'm very curious. <laughs> but I'm like, it was $89. So spency. But let me tell you something about the Hermes blushes, okay? 20 out of 10. I love those damn things. Like, I expect the packaging to be pretty much the same. Like, the longer that I've had it, the more that I do like it. I just wish it had more weight to it. But I had to get this. I think it's so... What the fuck? Oh, I just hit it. It's a fucking fly. Oh, it just flew in my hair. And now it's in my makeup brush. You know when a fly's about to die? And it's moving a lot slower. That's what it's doing. It's like, shit, I know I'm on my last leg. Let me piss her off real quick. <laughs> so this one, I did buy it. So spency. You will be seeing it on my channel. I don't think I'll dedicate a video to it. I think I'm going to do like a testing new luxury makeup. I need to move in because I feel like I'm out of focus today. I can't wait. And I'll regret probably nothing. But <laughs> she's saying, no, the fly is in your hair. Listen, it's a mess, but it isn't dead. <laughs> what is it dead? I don't know. I can't find it. I don't see it anymore. <laughs> that fly is coming for me. Okay, let's carry on. Hopefully the fly does not make another appearance, but you never know. Okay, we talked about this previously. I want to go through this information because rougher holiday, it drops tomorrow. Okay. Are y'all ready? It says October 19th to the 31st. I think if you've signed up for like the sneak peek or early access, you probably could shop this already. I always have an affiliate link for Ruffer in my description box. This holiday collection, in my humble opinion, I think that the brush, like the brushes for me, it's like the, um, I forget the exact name. I think it's just the holiday collection technically for like the three brushes. So you get like this little tiny like concealer type brush, you get like an angled or no, it's like a flat top. I'm like looking for it and I'm like, I have no fucking idea where I put it. Here it is. You get this type of foundation brush. I don't, I just don't like like natural hair for creams and liquids. I don't mind this one for spot concealing, like for this little pimple right there, it would come in handy for that. But I still prefer like the BK Beauty. Like these are still like super soft, really high quality brushes. There's one more powder brush as well. But for me, I'm like, if I were shopping these because these were sent to me, I would pass on the holiday collection. But what I would get <laughs> would be these fucking organizers. So they're launching not only like the, the holiday collection with the three brushes, they're going to have also like flagship eye sets. And I love the fact that they're doing basically two sets of eye brushes. One is more geared for hooded eyes. The other is geared for not hooded eyes, <laughs> but you can pick whichever one you want. So let me go through this information. They're also going to have 20% off site-wide all regular price items. And they also have like the soaps now. They've got the lash curler. They got a bunch of shit, okay? But the flagship eye set includes the 1, 2, 3, 12, 15, and 29. You also get a complimentary modular vanity component B. So I need to, like, I haven't had a chance to even go through it. Like, I have the whole modular system. I think I'm going to post it either on TikTok or Instagram. So if you want to see, like, how I do my stuff, I just haven't gotten into, like, organization mode yet. So I'm not sure exactly which component is B, but it's supposedly a $20 value. That set is going to be $72. The hooded eye set is the exact same price, except you get the 1, 2, 3, 13, 14, and 29. The 13 and 14 are my most used brushes ever. Even the number two most used brush out of my entire collection. Like Those are three powerhouse brushes in my collection. Those would be more of what I would purchase if you don't already have them. Because it retails for $120. bucks. you are getting it for $72. The holiday brush collection, you get the 30, 31, and the 32. 
That is all like a new collection. Those weren't already existing. You also get the component B and C and that collection retails for $136. You basically like get the components for free, like the in the modular system. And then the whole entire vanity, it doesn't say a price on what the vanity is, but I'm pretty sure like if you're purchasing during this time frame, you're going to get shit for free when it comes to the components of that vanity collection. Does that make sense? I fucking love refer brushes, especially for eyes. If I were to pick up anything though, like I said, it would 100% be that like flagship hooded eye set just because I have hooded eyes and they're like the perfect brushes for me. So this launches tomorrow. Again, I do have an affiliate link in the description box. If you guys do shop it, I do appreciate it so much just because, you know, I can buy more shit to review for you guys. And I just, I love this brand. The owner is like one of the nicest owners that I've ever worked with. This is like a visual of what some of the modular system looks like. The brush set. Then you have the flagship eye set. If you're looking or in the market for makeup brushes or, or if you're shopping for gifts, this is like the best time to get rougher. Like, I don't mean nothing. I, I love rougher. I would never pay full price for rougher brushes just because they're always either in the concept store. They always have sales. They always have the bundles. Like I would not just go on rougher and spend, granted, they're not even that expensive, but I still would just be like, nah, I'll just get it on like when it's on sale. Cause they do sales really often. So that's just me and uh, my unsolicited opinion, <laughs> but I'm excited. I'm especially excited over those, like the organizers. I believe that Patty, Patty Alonzo, she was in the chat. I believe she's doing a video tonight, actually. I think at nine. Patty, are you still here? Are you doing it at nine? <laughs> so if you want to see like how she uses it, you can check that out. I just saw her thumbnail like before I went live. <laughs> so there's that. I'll actually use this refer brush now. I'm just, I'm super grateful that I have it. So if you guys want to see like how I do mine, I do plan on doing organization videos in the future on my channel, along with, I think I'm going to post something either on TikTok or Instagram, like I said, or both. So follow me on there. Okay. Sounds good. Sounds good. Are you guys excited? What do you guys think? Cause obviously I'm nosy and I want to know. <laughs> R Josephine says, I feel like nowadays you never spend full price. If I was not a content creator, I would never pay full price for literally anything. There's sales so often though. So it's like almost like sales too often. Like how do these brands expect us to pay full price at this point? That's how often that there's sales. So then we have the Dior collection, the Dior holiday Atelier of Dreams collection, I believe is the accurate name of this. So I saw this available on Dior, Selfridges, like it's coming to basically all the retailers like Saks, Bloomingdale's, like it's fucking everywhere. So I did pick up some of this collection already. I did pick up the, basically like the neutral palette with the silver in it because everybody swatches. <laughs> everybody swatches of that silver. I'm like, do I need this? No. But then again, this is like my favorite brand. I fucking love Dior, right? I do plan on doing like a haul, I think next week. So you'll see exactly what I got, but I got the palette. I got the blush. I got a lipstick. I tried getting that like lipstick gift set, but it was all sold out. So spency. But again, I just, I love Dior. I love Dior so much. I'm still, I swear on like <laughs> a blacklist of theirs. I still can't purchase from the Dior site. So it's super annoying, but at least Selfridges, they've been really coming through for me. <laughs> Dior just, they have a special place in my heart when it comes to their makeup. So I was naturally here for this just because I love them. I love the embossing. I love the aesthetic. Like even on the lipsticks, I'm like, look at the packaging. Like the attention to detail on this packaging is so beautiful. I cannot wait. <laughs> Nancy said the middle lip case looks like a butt plug. <laughs> I fucking love our live chats, guys. I just, I live for your commentary on shit. I really do. <laughs> Tammy, for real, T Dior needs to stop playing me, honestly. Like, I've had enough. Like, I feel like Dior is just playing hard to get at this point, and I'm still not ready to give up. So, hopefully... 
in time, I will have better luck. But damn, I'm like, Dior, come on. Like, I'm literally trying to throw thousands of dollars at you, probably. <laughs> and uh, you just don't want me to buy it. Like, between this collection and Birds of a Feather, we're at several hundred dollars that I've been, you know, turned down from, from Dior. Okay? It's bullshit. <laughs> So this is another collection I think I'm going to do, like, I'll probably feature this in, like, testing new, like, luxury makeup or whatever. We'll see where this comes in. I did purchase, though. But damn. It's the embossing, though. The embossing looks so pretty. So I'm here for it with that one. And then we have Jouer. This is another brand. I'm like, listen. I'm waiting for them to drop something that I, like, shit my pants over. It just has not happened yet. But I'm, you know what? I'm patiently waiting. I'm being patient because I feel like Jouer has this aesthetic that I love. Let me tell you what this is first before I get on a rant. So they're launching new holiday lip sets. So you got the Essential Lip Enhancer like Deluxe Trio. It's $24. It's usually $36. To me, like, who needs three of the same product? It's a great product, but it's not better for me than my Jack Black. The Jack Black lip balm is literally everything. And it's like eight bucks. So I wasn't that excited to see the lip enhancer. And I don't like that it like tastes and smells like floral. Just not, just not the vibe for me. I don't like that for a lip product. So then they're also going to have the best of the nudes deluxe lip cream and gloss set for $28. It's a $39 value. Like, okay, I get it. Like it's still a discount. Is it just me though? Like, is that not good enough? Like, 36 value for $24. Like, I think it's just because I'm so used to seeing, like, these crazy outlandish numbers. Like, $96 value, but you're getting it for, like, 40 You know what I'm saying? So, when I see this, I'm like, all right, it's available October 19th. You could use code TRENDWOOD for 15% off. I'm sure this will come to Sephora, but, yeah, it's just, okay. Back to what I was saying earlier. I'm like, Jouer has that aesthetic that I fucking love. I just think they look luxe but they don't have that luxury price point and I love that but they're always a snooze fest I'm just like come on I'm like honestly over here like Jouer come through this time give me something that I'm just like oh my god they have that potential they really do they have those products too you know what? when you look at brands almost like I think of this with like M Cosmetics too you just look at a brand and you're like that would be so good for, like, that, like, natural, for more mature skin. Like, I feel like Jouer has that aesthetic. I don't know why. Maybe that's just me being judgy. But I'm like, their products look so cute, but they never do enough. They never do enough. And it's unfortunate, because I do want to buy their stuff. Like, I've tried things from them before. But especially now, when there's so many amazing launches coming up. Not really so much this week little spoiler, but yeah, <laughs> I'm like, come on. I want to buy something. My Sephora cart is ready for VIB sale. $737 because the Dyson Airwrap you convinced me I need. Listen, the Dyson Airwrap is still fucking fire. It's amazing. I love it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm always down for looking good on a budget. And I feel like, I feel like I just want to be like Jouer. This is what you need to do. Maybe I'll get lucky and they'll see it and be, they'll be like, okay, Brittany, let's deliver that for you. <laughs> Look at me thinking I'm something special. Psych! Okay. The lip colors were really pretty. I just saw Tracy said the lip colors look really pretty. It's just not enough. Like, they got to give us, like, special packaging or something. You have to do something special for holiday, right? Like, when I'm seeing so much holiday and so much, like, beautiful embossing, like, when I see something like bake sick as fuck like that, I'm going to be like, yeah, no, it's like easy to just like forget about it. Like I'll forget about it in like five seconds. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, let me get off my high horse and let's talk about some holiday sets from one size. So we have three Queens primer powder and setting spray set for $42. That's actually like a pretty good set to like, if you've been wanting to try the brand or something, cause you got like a decent variety of the complexion products that he offers, you know, and they're, I think, mini sizes. So you get the setting spray, the setting powder, and also the primer. 
And then you have, let's see, the Point Made Eyeliner and Eyeshadow Set for $34. So these little quads are, I believe that these are new. I've never seen these before. And then we also have KVD Beauty, the Mini Epic Kiss Nourishing Vegan Butter Lipstick Sets. Let me stop you right there. This is one of the worst lip formulas I've ever tried because they feel gritty on your lips. It feels like there's something in there. I think it's just the formula. I hope that's the case. I hope it's not like something was actually in my stuff. It feels awful though. I'm just like, no, I have the mini size and I'm just like, I would not buy that. No fucking way. And then you have the Tattoo Liner Duo and the Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner Set for $29. This is not something that I would buy. Like, these little quads are cute. This is the first time I believe that One Size has done quads. I have the original, like, the palette that he did. I say he, like, Patrick Star, if you're unfamiliar. Like, his shadows were fine. The metallics weren't really, like, punchy enough for me, but he had those, like, uh, the liquid eyeshadows, I think they were. I felt like those complemented that palette really well. That way, if you wanted something that was more, like, bam in your face, you had those, but... It it's like, do you really want to buy two separate products when so many indie brands just do, like, those super reflective and metallic shimmers? You know what I'm saying? So, I've heard really great things about the eyeliner that he has, but I think it's a felt tip, so that is always a turnoff for me. I just prefer, like, a brush tip, but it's still a product I, like, never use. Again, these Epic Kiss, like, they look so pretty, but I'm, like, I'm telling you, on the lips... It feels awful. Like, these swatches look so beautiful. What do you guys think? Like, have you tried it? I feel like I gave it that bad review and I'm just like, forgot all about it. <laughs> Gemma's yelling at me. She's like, put your eye drops in, right? The eyeballs look crazy. Okay, I'll put them in just for you, Gemma, okay? Watch the magic. These are the Lumify eye drops. My eyes are about to be bright white. Okay, next one, while those are sinking in my eyeballs. <sighs> I feel like I say this every single time. I haven't tried these yet, but I really want to. Every single time we talk about Hollow Taco. Why have I not tried Hollow Taco yet? I don't even understand myself. I, I don't think these would be shades that I would get, though. I'm, like, self-conscious that the fly's in my fucking hair again. <laughs> I keep touching my head. Okay, these are two shades, like, probably my least favorite that I've seen them do so far, just because my nails always look like this, right? It's like, my nails never look super beautiful. I've tried fake nails a few times. I wish my nails looked like this, but they just don't. It's like, it's still pretty, but I just, I like the tones, I think, in the last collection. I think the last collection was my favorite that they've done so far, but I just... I think the problem for me is, oh, it looks like they have a little brush as well. I think the problem for me is with, first of all, nail polish. I can't be fucking bothered. I can't sit there and paint my damn nails. I wish I could. I'm looking for a bronzer. What bronzer do I want to use today? Oh, let's use Wayne Goss. This is probably going to look terrible, but let's do it since we're going to use his eye products. I can't be bothered. I'm so excited though. I'm getting my feet and my nails done this week. Like just like a mani. It's but it's because I can't be bothered because I'm fucking <laughs> I'm in like did you guys see me on Instagram yesterday? Like I'm playing in sheetrock. Like I'm always like working now. So it's like my nails can never be beautiful. And if they are, it's not for an extended period of time. It's like they look good for like a day and then they're like rocked by either other paint that I'm painting the walls with, sheet rock dust or something. It's just like, that is not my life yet. Maybe when the bar opens, but even still, it's like I can't do the long nails like because I feel like I can't function. I like, I don't know how all of these people on the internet have these nails like this big. I'm like, how, how do you fucking do anything? Like, how do you wipe your asshole? How? It's, like, gotta be a struggle. Even, like, putting money in, like, a a vending machine or something. Like, you gotta figure out how to do it with your knuckle. Like, everything is just so much harder, I feel. <laughs> like, people that have long-ass nails need, like, an award. Because it's like, how do you do it? And don't either break your nail or break your finger something. I don't know. 
I can't. I wish that was my life, but it's not. And you know what? Sometimes <laughs> it just is what it is. You got to deal with the life that you're given. But no, I, on a real note, it's just, I wish I could go to the, get my nails done, which I can, but it's like, I can't justify it. And I think that's always why I just end up not picking up the nail polish, even though I'm like, oh, I really want to, but I don't. <laughs> I'm like, can I just get somebody to rub my feet? I'll settle for that. Fuck my nails. Just rub my feet. <laughs> oh, God. I can't with myself. I know, guys. So, Hello Taco, like, I'm always interested, but I never buy it. Now, we got a lot of stuff that dropped at Ulta. I'm going to try to get through it all because it's so much. One of these brands we're going to talk about later. So, we've got... A bunch of shit from Wet n Wild, Morphe, BH Cosmetics, Jacqueline Cosmetics. Again, we'll talk more individually in just a moment. So, what the fuck is this? Um, what brand is this? Is this ColourPop? I'm like trying to read. Yes, these are ColourPop. So it's like, why? Jacqueline Cosmetics, we'll talk about later. We'll get there. This is, this was the main reason why I pulled up this post specifically, because I'm like, this is the only place that I've seen this posted. The BH Cosmetics, the Miss Claus collection. So this is their holiday collection for this year. I heard amazing, like, amazing reviews on their holiday collection last year. I think Morgan Turner, like, still talks about that palette to this day. I'm not, like, at all interested in this, but I know a lot of people do shop especially for gifts. BH Cosmetics is a fantastic brand to gift if you're looking for something that's like beginner friendly or for like teens. Shit, even kids because it's not that expensive. You know, when you're shopping these like Ulta brand or when you're just getting like kids makeup, it's still expensive. Like this would be more of something that I would consider getting. Like, if Jocelyn wanted makeup for Christmas, I would get her BH Cosmetics. Because it's still, like, good quality. It's a reliable brand. Not that these other brands aren't. But it's just another thing. It's like, you're getting good quality. Like, why? You know, like, I don't know. That's just me and my humble opinion. Okay. Uh, Tammy said it's BH. Oh, it's BH. Oh, not BH. Colourpop. Okay. This is ColourPop, though. Or no, this is BH Cosmetics. Fuck, I'm confusing myself. <laughs> okay, Lisa said the palette was excellent. The palette from last year. Yeah, that's where I'm, I'm pretty sure I heard Morgan talking about it, like, in a relatively recent video. And that's, for a holiday palette, that's actually very impressive, in my opinion. So this collection, I'm like, what's the price range? What do we got? The Miss Claus. You got a blush quad for $12. I, a mini shadow trio for $9. The Lit List 30 color eyeshadow palette for $29. And it's probably really good quality. Tinsel Twerking. <laughs> the fucking name. Six color bronzer highlighter palette for $18. Like, you see what I'm saying? Like, everything's like 9 to 30 bucks. If you buy, like, shit quality, just kids makeup, it's probably going to be the same price. Get something like this that's actually, like, good quality. Then we have Wet n Wild. Why? <laughs> what is this? What the fuck is this? Hang on, I gotta scroll because I'm like, what? The Little Twin Stars Collection. Fucking why? Why? Does anybody care? Because I don't. Man, like, it's so, it's so annoying to me too because... Wet n Wild was literally my favorite, favorite drugstore brand back in the day. Now I'm just over here like, what did I do wrong? <laughs> why do I, why did I think that they were so good? Can I just say really quick that this bronzer in the Wayne Goss palette looks so much better than it typically does. I think it's just because I use the actual bronzer and not the contour shade. Just wanted to leave that in there because I feel like I never say anything good about this palette. But today she's looking good with just the bronzer. And it's a really beautiful, like, I don't know. It looks like it's got some sort of, like, a sheen to it. Right? 
beautiful. Okay, let's see. You have to be Twilight level pale to wear that. What? Well, it's just awful. Like, I was just like, no. No. They used to be, like, my favorite drugstore brand, like I said, and I'm just, no. And then I saw this. I'm like, oh, shit, how did I miss this? Like, I feel like I've missed so much the past few days because I had a wedding Saturday and I just haven't been on my phone, like, at all the past two days. So, Rare Beauty is launching another palette. I think this is the another Discovery palette. So, they have their original one. So, this is obviously a new one. The original one is actually really, really good. And I feel like it was kind of slept on at first. Like, I did purchase it when it first came out. I haven't used it a ton, but I'm like... Why was nobody talking about the fact that I had a multi chrome or, like, a dual chrome in it? I actually did a TikTok that performed pretty well when I covered that one. I just totally, like, picked up all the foundation that was on my nose. Let's fix that. So, the only thing I didn't like about that palette, like, the original one, was it had a pressed glitter was, like, the biggest, the biggest shade in it. I don't really like the pan, like, the shape of the pan, how it's, like, the crescent moon. It's something like, it feels so petty to say, but it's just, it's just a critique. It's just something that I just don't like because it's not like I'm going to pan an eyeshadow anyways, but even if I could pan an eyeshadow, like I don't feel like this is a palette I could because it's really hard to get your brush like all up in there. You know, I think that's why I really like the, uh, like the square pans or even the circular pans. I'm favorable towards the square pans. But I do think I'm going to pass on this one just because I'm like, I don't ever touch the original one. The packaging is cute. It almost looks like a, uh, like a jewelry tray. So you kind of have a dual purpose there. Like the colors look really pretty, but I'm, I'm not sure if that's a press glitter. Seven colorful buttery soft shades. But that looks like it could be a glitter. So I'm not sure, but I'm, I'm leaning towards no on that one. But I mean, the first palette wasn't terrible though. It really wasn't. And then, this is another one, I'm like, damn, how did I fucking miss this? Makeup by Mario, this lip, the Ultra Suede Sculpting Lip Pencil. So I saw that his, what was it, the Ultra Suede Lipsticks, I think, those dropped like a week ago. So I saw that, but I didn't see that he was doing lip liners, which I feel like only makes sense. Like, if we're gonna do lipsticks, why wouldn't we do lip liners type of thing? I'm using the Pat McGrath little um, blush trio. I'm interested in these like okay this would be something I'm not gonna run out and buy right now but it's like if I pick up a lipstick shade for the VIB sale and I'm like okay it's a really unique shade and I want a lip liner that's gonna match that's when I would pick this up just to basically match the lipstick you know what I'm saying how many shades we got because I don't know it's just one of those things I'm like a lip liner it's so hard to impress me anyways because I'm always like it's a fucking lip liner so they're $22 12 different shades I'm assuming that they're going to, like, coincide with the lipsticks, but I'm not sure. Let's see. A precision dual-ended lip liner that defines sculpts and shapes the lips to create the illusion of a fuller pout with a full coverage matte formula infused with emollients for extra comfort that doesn't feather or bleed. Long wear, 12 shades, $22. Yeah, like I said, if I pick up, like, a lipstick during the VIB sale or something... We'll throw it in the cart. Fuck it. We'll throw it in. Right? But yeah, that came out of nowhere. But I feel like everything did this week. <laughs> so then we have the new Micro Crystalline Resurfacing Skin Polish by Make Beauty Official. I feel like I remember talking about this brand relatively recently, right? Look at that pimple. Like, still shining through. <laughs> But anyways, I feel like I remember talking about this brand, but I can't remember what the hell it was, but it was probably within the last couple months at least, but maybe it was when they first launched. I don't know. Works to gently yet effectively. No, we talked about this product. So I'm like, what does that mean? Sloth? Slow? Slow off dead skin? Sloth? We've talked about this, right? You guys remember this now? Because I can't read? <laughs> For a smoother, more radiant looking complexion formulated with super fine microcrystalline cellulose, glycolic, lactic, and fermented biosourced besabolol. <laughs> <laughs> Exfoliating mask is $36. Does anybody care? 
I can't read if you haven't noticed. Thank you, Hooked on Phonics. You didn't work for me. It's an exfoliating mask. Slough. Slough. <laughs> Slough. It just looks so weird, right? It looks like it's not a word that's actually a word. Am I tripping or not? Nah? You guys let me know. It's an exfoliating mask. I'm not in the market for one, but if I was, maybe I would try it. The packaging looked cute, but can you tell I'm like bored this week? I feel like I'm blazing through everything and not really saying anything at the same time. Now we have Trixie Cosmetics, 90s inspired. You got Just a Girl 3 blush, wait, 3 pan blush palette for $28. You've got the Ginger Spice Lip Gloss for $16. Truth or Dare Lip Gloss for $16. What else? Fuzzy Bucket Hat. This is usually like a whole like random ass collection. You got a Bucket Hat, Doodle Scrunchies for $10. Mini Backpack for $45. A, pe a Pencil Case for $20. Heart Powder Puff for $6. Available October 22nd, 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. That blush palette though... Like, the shades, especially the one all the way to the left, like, that the darkest one. Wow, that was really difficult to get open. This is the tourmaline palette that I'm going to use today. That blush in that palette is screaming, like, Brandy, buy me. I could totally see her, though. I could totally see that. I could totally see <laughs> We're so mean. But, I mean, it's just not a vibe for me. And there's nothing wrong with that. But not for me. I'm with you. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> this should just be called new makeup releases I don't care about. Right? Is that the consensus for today? All right. Now we have this. I think this is the brand Truly Beauty. I have another br fucking... I could feel a bristle on my face or like a hair on my face somewhere and I can't tell where it is. All right, Truly Beauty, they're launching pumpkin spice scrubbing polish for $20 and a marshmallow body butter for $20. I need your guys' feedback because you know what? TikTok's about to get me with this brand. I've actually, I think I've been in contact with this brand before. But I still haven't tried their stuff yet. I think that was more or less like what it was. I was like, um, can I like try your stuff first before I just do videos on it? That type of thing. We talked about that a couple weeks ago with another brand. But this, this brand is just very appealing to me. <laughs> I'm like, it's the swirl. It's the colors. I've never smelled them or anything. But I, like, I don't know. I'm always like, oh, but I kind of want to try it. It's very strange for me, but it's, it's, it's a thing. I'm going to use the two, the 13 and 14 that are in the um, flagship hooded eye set so you guys could see. Right, Lisa, why do I want this? Exactly. That's exactly what I'm saying. I'm like, has anybody tried Truly Beauty? Because if they have good quality stuff, like, I would entertain it. Especially, like, there's, like, a booby oil or something or a, bo a booby polish or a butt polish. I don't know. They do, like, basically, like, body care. But it's the aesthetic. It's the swirl. It's just, like, the colors. I love it. But pumpkin spice, I think that's an easy pass for me. But marshmallow. I love the smell of marshmallow. We'll talk about something that I got recently that smells like marshmallow. Or not marshmallow. It's more vanilla. But we'll talk about it later. Okay, let's get into ColourPop. More ColourPop. Those other palettes that launched earlier, I could obviously care less about, right? So then, we've got mascaras, right? The new Level Up mascara, I'm assuming. It's a lengthening mascara that will give you instantaneously buildable lift, definition, and length. Whew. Okay. The only reason why I'm excited about this is because they have a burgundy one. I feel like that never is a thing. Like, if anything, I always see, like, black and brown, sometimes blue, but burgundy, I don't feel like is that common. I'm sitting here lollygagging because I'm figuring out what I want to do for my eyeballs today. So, I'm, I'm curious. I want to ask you guys, have you guys tried the formula of this 
like the original, like the level up mascara, because if it's good, shit, even if it's decent, this would be a product, like, if I was placing an order at ColourPop, I would add this to cart. Not that I'm probably going to be placing an order at ColourPop, but you know, you, you never know. They might drop a Beauty and the Beast palette that I, like, have to have or some sort of a Disney princess collection again. It could happen. You know, let's put it onto the universe. <laughs> but Bethany said, how often do people use burgundy? A bitch like me would use it all the time. Because burgundy is so flattering on my hooded eyes. Melody, thank you for calling me out. Sippy, sippy. This would be something I would use all the time. So, I don't know. If I was placing an order, I would entertain it 100%. But I'm curious about the formula itself. So if you tried it, give me your feedback. Is this already available? Let's see. Flake-free formula, smooth application, noticeable length, tapered and long applicator brush. It kind of reminds me of, um, like, honestly, just like a basic ass mascara wand. Almost like, um, shit, what brand is it? It's a drugstore brand. It looks, oh, fuck. I keep wanting to say L'Oreal, like, Voluminous, but it's not. It's not L'Oreal Voluminous. I'll think of it probably way later. So I'm assuming this is already available. Give me your guys' feedback. But, oh, highly likely I'm not going to end up getting it. <laughs> so, to answer that question, though, earlier... Yes, I would. And then we have more ColourPop. Like, they literally don't fucking sleep. This is the Lucky Penny eyeshadow palette or the Lucky Penny collection. I'm not that pissed at this because I'm like, this is kind of cute. Right? Like, the colors, the shades and stuff. It is kind of cute. I'm not going to hate on this one that much because... The packaging is not my favorite, but it's not terrible. So I could, like, I could tolerate it. It's the shades, but at the end of the day, like, but Brittany, are you going to buy it? No. <laughs> this is not one that I would buy just because it's not making me lose my shit. But I'm like, but the shades are cute, though. So you got the sticks, like the, I'm assuming, like, blushes and highlighter sticks. You've got, like, lick lip glosses it looks like or liquid lipsticks let me read it so i'm not like all over the pace okay the eyeshadow palette the lucky penny you get nine matte and shimmery shades the light blush sticks duo looks like there's two sets of those or it's like cash in and on a streak they might be highlighter this is not really giving me any accurate information so bear with me the luxe Li liquid lipsticks Coming soon to their website. Is it... Let, let me throw some shade really quick. Is it just me? Or was Trend Mood's account so much more helpful back in the day? Like, I feel like I'm always saying, like, why, do, why are we not putting, like, if this is what we're doing with these Instagram accounts, why is there no information? Like, is that mean to say... I don't know. I guess, like, <laughs> if we're going to post it, let's, let's, let's say what it says or say what it is. Maybe they don't know, but it's just one of those things. Like, when I'm going through it, I'm like, this is annoying. I want to know, like, what shade is what? Like, how am I supposed to know what is what? Right? I don't know. Okay, enough being a fucking bitch, Brittany. <laughs> Sorry if that was bitchy, but it is, like... Come on, give me something. Or price. Prices, I feel like, never on there anymore either. You know? But, okay. Let me stop being petty. This collection's not bad, but it's not making me lose my shit. Amanda said they want those clicks in the bio. But it's, like, literally, like... I get that. I get that. But, you know what? There's a lot of other accounts that are doing the same type of shit. And it's like, if I find another account that's doing this better, I'll start going to those other accounts. And I'll start clicking the link in the bio for these other accounts. 
But then again, I get it for the people that, like, really don't understand, like, because I could see people being like, what does Lincoln Bio mean? Right? Like, I obviously know. You guys probably obviously know. But the people that aren't, like, really heavily involved on, like, the YouTube and shit, they probably don't know, like, Lincoln Bio. Like, I could say the same thing about, like, sponsorships as well. Or not even sponsorships. Like, um, basically, like, disclosing, like, if stuff was sent to you or, um, I don't know, like, it's not hard to put, like, affiliate link, like, so people know, like, you get paid for either posting it or if they click the link, you get paid for it. It's, like, all these things that I could literally nitpick and be, like, crazy about, but I'm not gonna do that today. I'm gonna shut the fuck up and move on. (laughs) Okay? You guys are probably loving this today. I'm just being so spicy, but it's fine. Okay, Glaminatrix. Pre-order for the Sandra Rose mini palette. Did anybody get this? Like, I want to buy from this brand so bad, but their shipping is so expensive. Because I believe that they're based out of Australia. Is that correct? So, I've said this before. Like, in the U.S., we are so spoiled with, like, free shipping or... Oh, if you spend this amount, you get free shipping or expedited shipping or something. The shipping from Australia is so spency. So I'm like, all right, I can't justify it. But I want to. I want to try this formula. I've heard great things from you guys about the formula. But I haven't done it. This color story is cute. Aren't they launching another palette, though? I agree. If their shipping wasn't so damn high, I totally agree with that. Like, and that's where a part of you, it's like, okay, I get it. I get it. Like, they're literally in Australia. Like, what the hell else are they supposed to do? It just is what it is. But it's just also hard when there's so many other amazing launches coming out at the same time. So it's just one of those things like, oh, shipping super spency. We're going to pass on this one for now. And it's a pre-order. Yeah, this will probably be one I pass on. I did not, you know, I did not buy this one. But I'm always interested whenever I see Glaminatrix. But I feel like we just talked about another one that I was way more interested in opposed to that one. So I'll probably keep my eyes peeled for other palettes that they do. Because, huh, did it? Again, did they even say how much this was? Okay, yes, for $40.80, but shipping is probably, like, 20 bucks. Like, it's probably something super crazy. So, again, it's already available for pre-order, but I did not get it. Mm, let's see. Glaminatrix is so pretty, but their last palette took almost four months to get to me. I forgot I ever wanted it by the time it came. And that's where it's, like, I totally get that. I totally get it. And especially for... Because I obviously purchase things probably a little bit differently than you guys do just because, like, content. But it's, like, by the time I were to get the palette, right? If I got the palette, I got it in four months, say, if I had the same exact experience. Who the fuck is going to watch that video and be like, oh, my God, I want to buy that palette and wait four months to get it? It's just an easy an easy justification for why I don't need to get it (laughs) because that's exactly what went through my mind unless they come out with a color story or a product that's just so revolutionary and different so there's that we should make a huge britches order and have it sent to one address and distribute it we would (laughs) but even still you'd probably not save because then you're gonna probably pay by the weight but if that was accurate I would be down and I'm sure other people would be down as well because I don't mean nothing like I've even used personal shoppers and I would shop for like myself and my friends and do the same thing or it's like you split the shipping costs or something like that even when like even when I purchase from like Ikea I do the same thing I get in with a group of people to justify the price of shipping because it can be crazy right uh, Melody asked what brush I was using. I was using the Esum, the W23. This is like the best brush for metallic eyeshadows. So a little update on the Wayne Goss. This shade applies way better when it's wet. The other ones, like you've got a matte. This is more of like a satin. 
And I'm going to say this is more of like a shimmer satin. Those are the ones that are on the eyes right now. Beautiful, glorious. I'll put the lightest shade on my inner corner in a bit. So that was the brush I was using. Next! That palette is cute though. Alamar Cosmetics. I feel like I talked recently about these guys for another product that they launched. And I'm like, you know what? I don't show enough love for this brand. And, excuse me. And I say that because they make fantastic products. Like, everything that I've tried from them, their blush palette, their lip products. Like, oh my god, their lip, lip glosses. Their lip glosses smelled like pineapple. Their eyeshadow palettes are fucking fire. Like, amazing quality. Beautiful metallics. I need to get these. I think I need to place an Alamar Cosmetics order. Would you guys want to see that? Because they are, I think... I know they're woman-owned, but I'm not positive what her nationality is. But, oh my god, it's Gabby. She's basically, like, friends with Kathleen Lights. That's where I came across her initially. But the quality of the products is why I would consider buying this. Brit, not beauty related, but Bombas, the sock company, has Disney princess socks. Send me a link. <laughs> Send me that link, girl, because um, cozy socks right now, because it's starting to get cold. Oh my god, if you guys have a Costco near you, they had, like, I think it was like a six or seven pack of the of these cozy socks. I should have fucking bought them today because I'm like, oh my god, these for fall and winter are going to be amazing. They were so soft. But girl, can you send me that link though? Cuban. That's what I thought. I was like, Cuban, Latina. Okay, so she, yes, Latina owned Alamara's Fire. Yeah, so Latina based, woman owned. We love that. I need to shop this brand. So they just came out with lip liner. I didn't even tell you like what the fuck they were, but they're 12 bucks or you can get the whole collection for $54. But I remember like their eyeshadow palettes being fucking fire. Fire. All right. The tones in this palette are so pretty. I was going to dedicate a video to this, but I'm like, by the time I get around to it, I'm like, nobody fucking cares anymore. Right? Nobody cares. And you see it now anyways. This is beautiful. But this is like literally every other burgundy palette that has launched recently. <laughs> Honest to God. It is really beautiful though. Let's do this inner corner. I'm going to use the lightest shade for the inner corner. And I think I could use this as probably a uh, face highlight. So Alamar Cosmetics, if you haven't shopped them, I think you have to shop them directly through the Alamar Cosmetics website. I think where I initially got them, though, or where I found them was through BoxyCharm. I do remember seeing them quite often there. But yeah, it's like eyeshadow palettes were fire, blush palette was fire, lip glosses. Like, everything was good. The fuck? <laughs> Why don't I shop them more often? I really should. And then we've got Tower 28. It looks like they're dropping, like, little holiday sets. I would love for them to do, like... Just something so different. Because they're not a brand that does, like, these huge holiday collections. They basically just curate little collections for, like, a discounted price. Like, this shade's pretty, but it's not giving me that that I want. But very um, soft and natural, this palette is. So these are the Just Add Milk. The, the Shine On Ice Latte Lip Jelly Duo. These lip jellies are fucking fire. And my favorite ones are, like, the Milky Collection. They're so good. So, so good. What shades are in here? I think it's, like, oh, or no, it's Chestnut and Chill. So, the Chill is the clear, and then Chestnut is a Milky Burt Caramel. And it's a new shade. Oh, my God, I gotta get that. I gotta get that. Because I have them all. They typically do send me PR from Tower 28, I gotta get that, and I'll probably throw the clear one in the giveaway, because I think I still have a clear. Or maybe I'll chuck mine out and start over. This is a fantastic formula. It reminds me a lot of, if you're familiar with, um, I would say it's closest to probably Lunar Beauty, but they're still different. It reminds me of Lunar Beauty only because it has a gel formula. Whereas I feel like most glosses don't have that. So that's basically the only reason why I say they remind me of each other. 
but they smell completely different. They feel completely different. It's just like if you're familiar with the texture, that's the closest. But damn. I just got totally fucked up because I'm like, I didn't realize that was a new shade, so now I want it. How much was that? It's probably $22. It's probably already on the Sephora website. I'll link it below after. And then we have Alien Cosmetics. So the Witching Hour palette launched today. So I posted this earlier. I actually posted it late because I forgot that it was dropping at 12 o'clock today. So you could already purchase this. I saw you guys using my discount code. Thank you so much. So how do we feel about this color story? Because I initially was like, listen, I love this, but I know that I won't use it. I do believe I'm getting this in PR, but this would be a palette like I could appreciate it. I think it's gorgeous. I love the shades. But this would have been a pass for me. Like, I wouldn't have purchased this one just because, again, I know that I won't use it. But <laughs> I do feel that this complements the other palettes that I've gotten from Alien Cosmetics recently. And I also really love that if you scrolled on my post, you could see the comparison swatches to the Bunnies palette, which I don't own that one anyways. So I own the Not Normal, the um, Fairy Frolic, the Lore. I think that's it that I've owned from Alien Cosmetics so far. But I'm like, I feel like, I feel like what's going to end up happening with me with Alien is I'm going to end up depotting them, especially since they're rebranding. So depending on what happens with the rebrand and everything, but I'm like, it's the fucking under, I say this every single time I talk about Alien Cosmetics. I'm like, it's the undertones that, Amanda does it gives me like melt vibes but still not completely like the same it's just different and that's where I'm just like I feel like it just fits so well with the aesthetic that she's built I'm very curious to see what's going to happen after this rebrand if it's like a totally different name or I'm, I'm very curious <laughs> So I do have an affiliate link and code with Alien Cosmetics. I believe if you click the link that's in my description box, it will automatically apply. You guys could probably verify that for me if you've used my link before. I'm pretty sure it gives you 10% off at checkout. But I'm like, this is so cute. So if I get this, which I got an email saying that I was going to be getting it. So if you guys want a video on this, let me know. But damn, so cute. You could have added... Oh, wait, Anne, what are you talking about? Are you talking about Lisa Eldridge? Is that what you're talking about? It reminds me of the Not Normal palette. I could totally see that. Like, I think it's going to complement. Like, that's where I think I'm going to end up depotting Alien just because I think, like, all the color stories work well together, even though they're all different palettes. I don't know. Amanda said the name is changing. So... Oh, that's so sad. I'm like, oh, no. But everything happens for a reason. Maybe it's a change for the good. Don't worry. I'll still be all over whatever the fuck she's doing. <laughs> okay, Tammy said the link does apply. So if you click the link in my description box, it will apply the discount code. Thank you, Tammy. So that palette, I would not have purchased it just because, one, I'm so palette heavy. But I'm like, okay, like... Four of those shades in there, I'm like, oh, but I want them so bad. And I just feel like I wouldn't use those colors all together. I would use them, like, in conjunction with the other ones. I'm probably making sense. I think I'm overanalyzing it. But you guys probably get it. Right? You're smart. <laughs> <laughs> now let's talk about Jaclyn Cosmetics. Is this the Holiday Collection? Yes. The Holiday Ice Collection. What do y'all think I'm going to say? <laughs> I'm so fucking bored. Even if I would get excited about this brand, I'm so fucking bored. Right? I don't know. It's just... What in the ColourPop 3.0 is this? Like, that's exactly what this reminds me of. It's something that ColourPop would do, right? Maybe I'm just an uber bitch just because this isn't a brand that I buy from. But... Guys, take over for me. <laughs> I'm bored. I feel like, okay, 
Jacqueline Hill has so much potential. So much potential. Like, I've said this, I think, the last time we talked about Jacqueline Cosmetics. She should be a fucking luxury brand. She should, 100%. I think she would massacre it. But, like, you can't make fucking shit look bougie. And I think that's why it's just like, what is this? Why? It makes me want to throw things. <laughs> okay, let's go through it. Let's entertain it. What do we have? The Sweet Glaze Lip Lacquer for $18. The Winter Sun Face Palette for $38. A Skin Perfecting Oil Primer for $34. Glaze Over Shimmer Top Coat for $26. So that's probably like a lid topper or some shit. Pout Spoken Liquid Lipstick for $20. The Pout Spoken Lip Liner for $18, or for $18 not $19. I believe some of this is already available at Ulta. Like, what in the wannabe hourglass are we doing there? But it's still, it's just like, it's the fucking logo. I know it's the logo. If she had a different logo, I'd feel so much different. Mm. Hold on. I'm seeing what you guys are saying. Some of her stuff is really good, like the blushes and highlighters. If I had to pick a favorite product that she's launched, it's, I would say, the, um, the blush palette. That was the one I was like, if I was buying from your brand, that would have been it. Like, the six pan blush palette, because I'm like, it was like the bougie romance or some shit. No. This for holiday is just like, no. Go back to the drawing board. Morphe 2.0. It's like ColourPop 3.0, Morphe 2.0. No. Could have been done so much better. This is one, like, the basic bitch in me is squealing. I need to know how you guys feel about this, though. Because I'm like, the Chanel Holiday, it's just, it's just so, like, luxurious. I love it. Okay. I don't know if I've showed you guys this yet. This has been chilling here for months. This is the Chanel Holiday. I, I bought this through a personal shopper. This is the Chanel Holiday palette. Why I bought this, I don't know. But it's the fucking embossing. The embossing is so cute. And... I don't know if I'm going to use it or if I'm going to give it away. Because it's just been, like I said, it's just been chilling here. But I do, I, like, this I feel like is a collector's piece. So that's where I'm just like, I don't think I'm going to get rid of it. Just because, you know. But you got a lipstick. You've got fragrance. You've got, like, a liquid illuminator. A, like, a multi-purpose stick, I think it was called. Like, a, a I don't even know what the hell it was. <sighs> Judy, of course you did. chanel -o! Judy is the reason why I'm so into Chanel now. Before, I'd be like, nah, this is like old lady makeup. I never would have been interested in it. But now, I'm like, look at those. Like, it's the smallest detail, but it's like the embossing on this palette, right? The number five on the lid of the lipstick stupid ass detail but I'm like I love it <laughs> even the fragrance like I've never smelled I don't think Chanel perfumes and I don't think that they're gonna be something that I would love because I think they're more florally but like tell me that is not fucking gorgeous right I love it even the box I love the box it's just this is like my makeup aesthetic now <laughs> Guys, I've grown up. <laughs> a lips, or um, not a lip, a freaking nail polish. That I will not buy. That little, the face stick is right here, all the way to the right, or at least to my right. And then the liquid illuminator. I'd be lying if I said I didn't want this. So we'll, we'll see. Erin Nicole TV unboxed the 825 Chanel advent calendar, and it was a joke. Stickers and flimsy Christmas ornaments <laughs> turned me off from the brand. I saw it was actually Tavia from Chic Profile Official. She posted Erin Nicole's video. First of all, if you're not following Erin Nicole TV, I keep talking about her. She's like the best fragrance channel ever. She's like 
the bougiest bitch and I live for it because she's just like she seems so sweet but then she's so knowledgeable and she buys all the luxury stuff and I live for it so I saw Tavia posted Erin was doing her unboxing but then Tavia suggested like she does she basically fills the advent calendar what she would consider like worthwhile for Chanel and I was like that's such a good idea I would love to see her do it I really hope that she does it but yeah I told like $825 and if I got like hot garbage I'd be like big mad <laughs> big mad so what I'm the most interested in is obviously the palette and it does have really beautiful like the aesthetic of this is nice I do wish Chanel had more like um luxurious plat like packaging this is just basically like plastic you got like the sticker on the bottom it's like obviously i'm interested in this because i bought it right the illuminator the face stick and a lipstick and i think i'm gonna buy it it's available now on i saw it like pre-order i think somewhere on sax and then i'll link it down at chanel because if you were gonna buy it i think it's actually pre-order on chanel as well I would buy it from Chanel's website because you're going to get like the Chanel box. It's a whole experience. It's everything. I saw though they were doing like, I think that there's more coming for holiday for them though, because I saw on the Saks website, they had like a gloss trio and that I really want because they looked so beautiful and Judy got me obsessed with the Chanel glosses. They're beautiful. Okay. And then the one that I'm the most excited about this week Danessa Myricks, bitch. Did y'all see this? Did y'all see that Lightwork Volume 3? First of all, I had no idea that she did palettes before. So that was news to me. So the Infinite Light Palette, this all-over face multi-use palette, is curated with 14 of out-of-this-world galactic shades and multiple mesmerizing finishes. Limited edition, press and play, available the 21st. This is coming to Beautylish. I already had talked to them because that's where I'm like, okay, I would probably buy it there, especially, especially if they have the hell or the, the gift card event going on. I think this might come to Sephora, but not all of her products go to Sephora. So I'm not sure. Palette features one press glitter. So if you don't like press glitters, easy pass. Multidimensional mess free sparklers. Two duochrome gels, which are opalescent, all over creamy spotlights. Hang on, I gotta multitask now. Two powder creams, they're plush powder cream hybrids, and then five multi-chrome pigments. Ultra, ultra chromatic, color shifting, velvety powders. Four holographic powders. They're ultra reflective, translucent, prismatic highlight shades. So I'm assuming those are like the four lightest shades in the middle there. Y'all ready for how much this is, though? $125. But look at her face right there. Like, take all of my money. This looks so gorgeous. But <laughs> I know some people are going to be, I just saw a press glitter. No. I know some people are going to be so turned off by that, but I'm like, I don't even care. Don't care at all. Cause I don't, I don't honestly mind press glitters. So that doesn't bother me at all, but I know some people are just like firm negative, but all press glitter formulas are also different. So there's that. That was pretty. What is this? Copper flame. Oh, that's a pretty eyeliner. That could be a pretty lip liner even. Good job, Wayne. I love his lip or his eyeliners. Okay. What I'm look I'm like waiting to see what you guys are saying about this. Looks so magical. Oh, it is going to Sephora. Oh, so if that's oh, if that's during the VIB sale, it'll launch before. I'll probably buy mine when it drops at Beautylish. And then hopefully Yeah, right? The 21st and the VIB sale doesn't start till the 5th. I'll buy mine, like, I'll, I'll take the hit for you guys to let you know if it's hot garbage, but this one, excuse me, I wouldn't spend it on it, to be honest, 
I will. <laughs> it looks so beautiful. I hope I truly don't like it. <laughs> okay, the Chanel palette, I believe, is 65 on the Chanel website. I'm pretty sure. I can't remember how much I paid for it, but it was probably around the same price. Oh, let's see. Anyone tried the Givenchy? I was looking for that in Sephora today, but it wasn't there. Has anybody tried it? Give us your thoughts and opinions. Might be my first Vanessa Merrick's purchase. What have I purchased from her? I got her on um, like the foiled eyeshadows. I almost got those new, whatever those new things are, like the flake things, but I'm like, nah. I actually saw Michaela posted about those on TikTok today. Y'all know Michaela. She's like, I feel like the most probably famous makeup person on TikTok. I'm like, those look mad crusty on lids, always. Not just the Desimerix. Like, any product like that, when it's the flakes, I'm just like, nah, easy pass. All right, let's see. But people pay that for Pat McGrath, and I mean, right? Right? And these, I think, are going to be, like, truly special shades. I'm here for it. I'm wicked excited about this palette. I think it's going to be different. I'll be curious to compare it, though, to the indie shadows that I have. So if you guys want any comparisons that I might have, let me know. Because then when I do this video, I could feature comparison swatches to like Davina, um, Cleona, Adept. I'm trying to think of other ones that are like peaking my uh, memory. But I think those are the main three for me. That blue in the upper corner is the pressed glitter. See, that don't piss me off too bad. I'm still, I'm going to buy it. I'm going to do it. Such a pretty palette, but for $125 a steep. It's because I think it's the type of eyeshadows that you're getting. Like you're getting these like special multi-chromes and shit, right? I don't know. Girl, you have Cleona and Davina and don't need this overpriced crap. Amanda. <laughs> Listen, like they said earlier, these other brands are charging that too, but you never know. Like I saw one of her swatches and I'm like, damn. But you also don't know the lighting. Like, lighting makes such a difference. Please believe. That's where I'm like, I will do it for a video. Mm-hmm. I feel like I need to swatch it. That's an... Wow, really, like, polar opposite thoughts on this one. I think people are going to be mad after getting this. I've heard so many bad reviews on her products. I did see... I was in Sephora today, and they did have a couple of her products. The quality of the packaging on... I think it's called, like fuck what were they called I think it was her cream contours but it wasn't in the square packaging they were in like pots I think or almost like a compact style packaging the compact style packaging is hot trash like it is like wet and wild quality so if this like I will be very critical on this one I think but it does it looks so beautiful though <laughs> Oh, let's see. Uh, Mac Holiday eyeshadow palette. It was trash. What the fuck happened to Mac? For realsies. For realsies. Girl, after that Tempting Fate palette, I'm done with Mac. <laughs> let's see. She has five... She has five multi-chromes in there worth the money. Yeah, like... How much are... I'm trying to remember how much Davina charges per multi-chrome because theirs are incredible i want to say it's like 15 dollars per one or 12 i can't remember but either way i'm gonna review it for science <laughs> i would have to price out some holographic signals so since this is so pricey yeah like i totally get that i totally get that i saw steffi glam posted a bad re a bad review about the flakes i fucking love her she's such a vibe she like makes me die laughing all the time <laughs> Oh, my birthday is on her launch day, the 21st. I'm getting that bitch at midnight on Sephora. Get that shit, bitch. Yes. Oh my God, I love it. Okay, stay tuned for a video on this one. I was really excited about it. But like I said, if you guys want any specific comparisons or anything, let me know. I'm done with my makeup today. I honestly don't feel like fucking doing it. We're almost done anyways. Okay, Tammy came through on this one. I'm not going to be able to translate, like, any of this. So this is from Inspired Sigil, I think it's called. I can't remember the owner's name, but everything's in, like, Russian, I think. This is the new collection of Magic of a Sleeping Forest. And I'm just like, oh, shit. Because they look so pretty. Like, multi-chrome goodness, right? 
But I, I, that's all I could tell you because I can't read anything else. Because <laughs> on here I can't translate. But this is cute. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, multi-chromes are really difficult to capture. Like, especially, especially in a picture. Like, in video it's not as difficult. I feel like my, like, foundation keeps picking up. I'm wearing that, uh... The Uma by Sharon C, the Flawless Inner Life Skin Perfecting Foundation. This is the one I grabbed at Walmart the other day. I just feel like it's, like, picking up in certain places. I don't know how I feel about this one yet. Like, automatically off the gate, it's not a favorite. But I think this will be one I probably use a lot for, like, my nighttime videos. But I'm trying to be careful, like, when I touch my face. <laughs> so this, I'm like, what do you guys think? I got nothing else to say because I don't know what else to say. Tammy Tonica. I think that's how you pronounce it. Or Tunica. Tanic Tanica. I'll put it on the screen so you guys could see her name. But yes, I'm pretty sure that's the, the owner's name as well. Oh, my Terra Moon order shipped today too. I can't wait. Swatch party coming on those. Those new collections. Ooh. Her store is on Etsy. Yes. Let's see. Am I going to review these ones? I'm not thinking so just because I'm pretty positive I, I already own this <laughs> and the Nanessa Myricks is like really high on my list right now so I don't know though like would you guys want me to review this if you guys want it I'll fucking do it <laughs> Tanuka thanks girl Tammy Tanuka right I hope that's right all right if you guys want a video, you let me know. And if you do, like, I need to know, okay? Come through. You know what you can do? You can like the damn video, okay? We're doing not bad, but we could do better. All right, Patrick Ta. Y'all ready? Are y'all ready for it? I'm going to have a link in the description box because everybody's losing their fucking minds over this damn thing. I looked at it, or I looked for it in Sephora today, and it wasn't there. The blush palette. We've talked about this previously. So we're not going to talk about it too much. It's available now on the app if you missed it, okay? It's available now there, but I think it drops tomorrow or probably at like midnight, maybe like 3 o'clock in the morning Eastern time. It's likely going to be on the website tomorrow. I think I'm going to get this. It, initially, I was like, I'm not buying this because I already have two of the shades, but the more videos that I've seen with this damn blush palette, it looks so beautiful, especially that bottom shade. I'm like, why do I have to love, like, warm, like, cinnamon-looking blushes? They're my favorite. And then, like, spring and summer. Oh! You guys are already, already like, I got it. Bitch, I got it. Damn. I'm probably going to order it tonight. Early access on Sephora right now. I'll leave a link down below, but right now you have to get it on the Sephora app. If you want to wait till tomorrow, the link will be down there. Okay? So, as you can see, the live chat's real excited about Patrick Ta. <laughs> I feel like, okay, at this present moment, you I want to hear what you guys think so far. Because, honestly, I'm very underwhelmed with, like, the holiday stuff. I feel like, honestly, that's what people are most excited about right now. Out of every single holiday launch, Patrick Ta, I think, is winning. What do you guys think? Because that's where I'm at. <laughs> like, overall, people are fucking hyped. Even, like, Pat McGrath, I don't feel like people were that excited about. That's the only other one I feel like really sticks out to me without thinking too hard about it. But let me know. I'm very curious what you guys think. I'm just very... I'm very underwhelmed. And I'm like, is it partially because of, like... COVID happened last year, so, like, the creativity really wasn't, like, I wonder if it was, like, a lot of, like, rushing or production or a lot of companies just didn't do holiday this year. I'm very curious overall. I want to know your guys' thoughts. Let me know. But I meant to put this in the beginning, and I forgot, so I apologize. <laughs> so we talked earlier about the Beautylish gift card event coming up. Sonia G, a lot of a lot of pieces coming back in stock soon, hopefully on time for the Beautylish gift card event. So the Sky Eye set, the Sky Face set, the Pro Face set, the Double Decker case, the Soft Brush Book, Portfolio Organizer, the Smooth Buffer Brush available as an individual, 
The Face One brush should also be available. These are usually what really go quickly during those Beautylish gift card events. I really would love to see this collection be sold individually. If this happens, okay? These are the two brushes that are most worth it in that collection. I can't remember. Like the eye brushes, I really don't use that much. These, I'm very surprised. Because like when I first got this collection, I was like, this was such a waste of fucking money. Because it's so expensive. They're like $125 for the set. So I actually use, I use this brush quite a bit as well. This is the one I use for like my under eye. It's kind of similar for, or it's kind of similar to the rougher number two. Like as far as the shape and the purpose that I use it for, it's like almost identical. Except for the Sonia G is like a little bit wider. But these two brushes, if these are individual, that's a run, don't walk. Everything else is just like, it's fine. Those are so good. So those, we're doing a restock, hopefully during the gift card event. I forgot to put lipstick on, but it's fine. We don't need to do that today. I'm over it. Okay, I got one more for you guys because I actually got this today. If you follow me on Instagram, you already saw this, but I'm like, oh my God. Who the fuck am I? Every time I get a package from this company, I'm like, honestly, who the fuck am I? House of Siage launched the 80th anniversary Wonder Woman collection. And since I got the... Oh, shit. I'll grab them for you. I'll show you the ones that I have. This one is my favorite so far. So they sent me all of these. They sent me these two first, and I got them, like, when I couldn't smell anything. But I, I feature these in, like... It's always these types of videos. I swear. It's like, they're like, oh, Brittany's going to get it on a Monday. So let's give it to her on a Monday. So this one, this one's not my favorite because I do smell like patchouli, but it's still like, it doesn't pull because I feel like patchouli always smells like BO on me. So I, I feel like I smell that. I don't know if that's like a note at all in this though. This one's like a much more, I would say like mature fragrance for me. So that one's not my favorite. And then I got, is this Velvet Noir? I think that might be the name of it. Hold on. No, Whisper of Seduction. This one's really nice. But this fucking Wonder Woman though. <laughs> so this is the box they sent me today. It's so expensive. It's like $395 or something crazy. But bitch, it smells... <laughs> So it comes in this luxurious box. I wanted to show you guys. I feel like I unbox this like every time. Because I'm like, this is what I expect when I'm spending like this kind of money. Again, this was gifted to me. So I didn't buy this. But I love the presentation and how well protected your product is. Hold on. So this is what the box looks like. You could see the component in this little picture right here. But let's go back here. So 80th anniversary of Wonder Woman. This is your presentation, right? Wait until you see this. But this smells amazing. Like Shannon loves this. So I'm like, yup. I asked him purposely because I'm like, people are going to want to know what Shannon thinks. Look at, you got the Swarovski crystals on here. And then they're all star Swarovski crystals going all the way around. This... It's such a beautiful vanilla fragrance, but it's like, it's like sexy. Shannon was like, yummy. That was his reaction because <laughs> I sprayed it on my wrist. It kind of reminds me of like Love Don't Be Shy. I think that's the, like the first one that came to mind, but it's still not exactly the same, but that's like one of my favorites so like of all time. There's something, let me tell you guys the notes in this one. Hold on. I put it on my Instagram, my Insta story today. So the top notes are Davana, Pink Pepper, Raspberry, Bergamot. The heart notes are, I think it's Tolu, Almond, and Oris. And then the bottom notes are Musk and Vanilla. Bitch, this smells so fucking good. I'm like, this one... Tammy, 100% agree. Sophisticated vanilla. 
is exactly what it smells like. This is so fucking, oh. If they had, like, a sample size in this, but I know this is, it's so expensive. But, like, the presentation's there. This is, like, literally, it's a weapon. So, it, oh, I love it. It's the, in the smell of it. So good. Love it. So there's that. This one's already available now. 80th anniversary. Like, if you're a Wonder Woman, like, freak, I'm not. But I'm still like, oh, this scent, though. <laughs> yes, please. Oh, shit. I almost dropped the box. So, I need to know. I Actually, I'm going to go back through. Hold on. I want to go back through the chat and see which one you guys, like, what do you think the best um, holiday release is so far? Because I'm nosy and curious. Eee! Let's. Oh, you had me at raspberry? It's so... It's, it's so, not like, it's such a beautiful fragrance. I love it. So, like I said, like, the green one, green one was fine. This one, definitely better for me. But the Wonder Woman, though, that's my number one so far of the House of Siage. Let me see. Let me scroll. Let me scroll. Oh, la, 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 la. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> I know people keep asking for merch i'm like god damn maybe i hope the master face comes back oh from sonya g oh girl amanda they're so good so so good man i don't think you guys said your favorite holiday releases so far i went to sephora in times square today to scope out the hot new shit and i wasn't really pissing my pants with excitement right mm-hmm totally agree I have the best Chanel style group on Facebook. It's called Ch Chanel now and then. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, Tammy, thank you so much for your creator spotlight. I love when she does this. Jacqueline tries it with great skills and reviews. Jacqueline has a great channel. Subscribe to. Here's the link for Jacqueline's channel. Thank you so much, Tammy. I love when you do the creator spotlight. She the best. Have you seen the new Lethal Palette? I think we talked about that a week or two weeks ago. I know it launched, or I'm pretty sure that it launched, and I just did not care anymore. <laughs> Sorry. But I, I feel that that, help, that happens all the time with Lethal, too. Mm-hmm. The Celestial Odyssey is magnificent. I'm debating it still, but I'm like, ah, I feel like I'm not. I feel like I'm not going to do it. Mm, I already have the blush duo, so why buy the palette? Lisa, I feel personally attacked by that. <laughs> I literally need no makeup yet I continue to buy it all the fucking time it's a problem I want to love this but I was not impressed with his other blushes oh man I love them I love Patrick but this is a dark palette in my opinion I don't know I don't know I don't know if I agree with that I think it's very vibrant which is my wheelhouse when it comes to blush I love like like this blush today is very subtle I love, like, a super blushy cheek. And, like, his promo shots are beautiful. I'm just like, fuck. And I think Stephanie from Babs Beauty, she did a review on that palette. And I'm like, Brittany, don't watch it. Because I know I'm going to end up buying I'm going to end up buying it. I know I am. <laughs> oh, let's see. I'm scrolling down to see if you guys have said anything. It's on the app already. I bought it today. Yes, girl. Amanda, her brushes are the best I've ever had. They're so good. Lou, it's beautiful. Love it. Oh, uh, let's see. I just love the tiny pencil brush for under eyes. See, I love like my Wayne Goss number five. That's like the pencil brush I always use or the rougher. It was the rougher one I used today, but I don't know where it is. Where did it go? Where did it go? Where'd you go? I missed you so. I don't know. It's the rougher pencil brush, though, that I use. Either that or the wing goss. Mm, sounds like something you like. Yes. Hit me <laughs> I want on their PR list. I'm like, honestly, how the fuck did it happen? No idea, but I am not going to complain. <laughs> <laughs> I would try to get on one PR list. Just one. Come on, Brad's Give an experienced chick a chance. <laughs> oh, Pat McGrath, big palette, and Patrick Todd blush palette. Uh, K oh my, all right, Patty, Patty, what's the thesis? 
Invite only is like top of my list. I keep waiting for it to come to Sephora. I need the tea. Tell me. Danessa Myricks for you. Lisa Eldridge release. I was looking forward to it. I was not disappointed. I ordered, I think I got a lipstick and a lip liner. And then I got the foundation sample for free. I may or may not have placed that order for the lipstick just to get that sample. So stupid, I know, because you could have just bought the like the sample packet for $3, but I wanted to try her other formula, so I have that coming as well. <laughs> but I'm really excited about her foundation. I can't wait to see it. Pretty unimpressed with all the holiday releases. Yup. Pat McGrath Larger Palette. I saw that in store today. The, um... Celestial Odyssey, I think it is. It is really, really pretty in real life. They didn't have any, because I bet you if they had, like, one left, I would have been like, yeah, let me get it. <laughs> so stupid. I have a feeling, though, like, does anybody else feel this way? Like, I feel like holiday releases are about to, like, just start dropping, like, out of nowhere. I don't know. Mm, Danessa Myricks palette for you. Patrick, <laughs> Pat Eyeshadow and Patrick Ta Blush. Yeah. Oh, Karen did post a video on the Lethal Pal. I'll have to watch that. Let's see. I lost after our glass every year. Wait, I lost after our glass every year, but can never pull the trigger. Nicole, what you talking about, girl? Did I miss it? The best Chanel I wanted so <laughs> the best is Chanel I wanted so bad. I think that's such a beautiful collection. Yes, April. Her videos are always great. Patty, are you already done with your live? <laughs> I think you were gone already. I'm like, guys, she's talking about this collection like right now if you want to go see how she uses it. <laughs> ah, I love it. We're just chatting about um how underwhelmed we are with the holiday releases. Actually, you know what? Refer will probably be at the top for me for holiday releases too this year. Like, I'm telling you, that acrylic organization is chef's kiss. So... Patrick Ta Blush, I think that's a high one for people. The Danessa Myricks palette. You guys are saying the Pat McGrath palette. And then the Refer. That's, I think, where we're at so far. But damn. We need to... <laughs> we need to get better stuff. Ah! Stacy, Much love from Down Under. I ordered the Nikki and Joy pigments. They are stunning. You will love them. They are metallic with different chests. Oh, I want them so bad. Ah! They look so pretty, but I never like a loose powder. I just won't use it. I know I won't. <laughs> but I really want to try her loose powder, like, face powder, because I hear it's amazing. Oh, uh, let's see. Nothing is making me want to part with my money yet. I love that you said, yet. <laughs> oh, shit, Elizabeth. I forget what song I was singing. Mmm. I was looking for my brush when I started singing it. Shit. If you say the lyrics, I'll try to remember. Oh, damn it. Let's see. But you and Brick can't do lives at the same time. <laughs> Betty, we're not allowed. <laughs> What's the tea? Oh, shit. What did I say? What's the tea, sis? Oh, the invite only from K. Ellie. That's what I need. Elizabeth, what shade of what? See, this is the only downfall of lives and catching up with it. Because I'm like, I'm so far behind that I talk about so much that I don't remember where I was at. <laughs> oh, let's see. I got the Travel of Kaylee, Deja Vu, and YSL Libre. Oh! I love them both. I ordered Travel of Alien today. I'm so curious. Tracy, you just made me think of something. I smelled the Valentino perfume in store today. Bitch, that smells so good. Like, when I got... There was a perfume I got lately. The Apple Brandy. I think I'm going to return that one because I don't like it. Like, it's not long-lasting at all. And I haven't, like, when I wore it, I want to get compliments on my perfume. Like, people being like, oh, girl, you smell good. When I wear Angel Share, I get compliments. When I wear Love, Don't Be Shy, I get compliments. Apple Brandy, ain't nobody saying a fucking word. But it's because it fades so quickly. So I think, or not Angel Share, I think that one's going to go back. But damn, the Valentino one, people were like, oh, if you like this, you need to try the Valentino. And oh my god, it smelled so good. So that's probably my next one. Or Invite Only from K. Alley. Because that looks like it smells good. <laughs> it smells great. Snuck it in my car when I was in stock. Half a minute at Kitty and Sephora. I keep waiting for it at Sephora. Everyone is sleeping on the Dior Holiday Collection. 
Not me. What did I, okay, I'll show you guys what I got. Little haul time. No, I, I'm going to save it because I'm going to do a haul. But there's Dior Holiday in here. Maybe I'll do a haul tomorrow. We'll see. Look, I'm such a half-ass beauty influencer. I'm like, I'm done doing my makeup. Fuck it. <laughs> oh, let's see. I need more money for Shantikai. Uh, I wanted their, um, those lipsticks that they did for, was it their fall collection? I can't remember. I wanted those so bad, but I'm like, yo, I need to chill. <laughs> I feel like holiday stuff is going to drop early since shipping has gone to shit. I don't know. It's like, it's so crazy. I'm curious to see though. I'm sticking with TM Indie. Nothing compares. Oh, Terra Moon Indies. I can't wait to get those new ones. Because I have the Albario palette and their textures are very different for me. So that was like my first impression of Terra Moon. But I think I got another collection and I don't, I don't think I've touched it like at all. So I think it's just... I need to prioritize it in my collection, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> uh, let's see. Waiting for Refer. Refer launches tomorrow. Actually, if you did, if you did, you know what? You should click the link in the description box right now and see if it's available. Because <laughs> it might. Sometimes it launches early. Oh, let's see. Pat, Pat's palette is stunning, but you won't use it just by opinion. Totally. Totally. Oh, I already read that. Wait, did I get back? Did I go back? We've discussed <laughs> all about rapper sale. I'm in love. Right? I know. I can't wait to play with mine. I'm like, it's been just chilling in a box. I need to, like, take it out. I just loved it after Hourglass palettes. I reach for those all the fucking time. I want the Rare Beauty Blush Minis. Listen, I saw those in store today. I'm like, why did she not do the highlighters, though? Her highlighters are amazing. Amazing. Fuck the blushes. Give us the highlighters. <laughs> That's exactly what I requested last year. Like, she should have done one of those little collections, like a minis. She should have did all the highlighters in one of those. But, yes, I saw that today, and I'm like, they're so cute. Where'd you go? I miss you so. It's uh, Fort Minor, isn't it? I think it's called Where'd You Go by Fort Minor. I think. Clock me if I'm wrong. I missed you so. Seems like it's been forever since you've been gone. Erasing it. Where'd you go? Okay, we're done. <laughs> oh, let's see. I need that reference organizer for sure. See, Sabrina even remembered. She's like, girl, get it together. <laughs> I can't even really. <laughs> girl, we on it. I just forget everything else. I remember the tea, but I forgot the song that we were talking about. Jesus. I'm waiting for when Natasha Denona has in store for holiday. Listen, if we don't get a big palette like Metropolis, I'm about to be pissed as fuck. We need a big Metropolis. Like Metropolis 2.0. I keep looking at my under eyes. I'm like, my under eyes is not giving it to me today because I forgot to hydrate them before I did my makeup. All right. The new black packaging one. I'm assuming you're talking about Valentino, correct? No, it's, it's the one with Lady Gaga, I think. I'm not sure. I can't remember the name. If I see the name, I'll remember it. Sabrina got it. Fort Minor. Yup. Yes, you did. It's so good. So good. Tell my wife to stop buying, <laughs> tell my wife to stop buying stuff because Christmas is coming fast and she's buying up her wish list before I can. David, first of all. Can I just say this? Go you for being on a fucking beauty video. <laughs> Go you for shopping that wish list. Everybody, listen, everybody. David is a fucking real one right here. <laughs> listen, I don't know who your wife is, but stop it. Your man's trying to buy you some shit. Okay? Okay. Or just give him a larger wish list. I said what I said. <laughs> that was everything. I think I missed the Chanel Holiday Collection. Do we love it? Yes. We love the small details. We may have already had this palette and haven't touched it yet. But this, the embossing is so beautiful. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
Smelled it at Alta and loved it. So good. Listen, Amanda. That's the last thing that I need is any more of that. <laughs> I just go like this. And it's a fucking wrap. Okay. That's the last thing I need. So maybe I shouldn't get it. <laughs> but you know what? That Wonder Woman, though, he was just like, ooh. He really liked that one. Because I said, I go, you need to tell me, what do you smell? He's like, it's very strong vanilla. So if you don't like vanilla, you probably won't like the Wonder Woman. But that was the husband's feedback. Mm-hmm. You're welcome. What shade of the Lisa Eldridge? I got the... Oh, shit, what was it? I can't remember. You'll probably see it in a couple days, hopefully. Or no, was that a pre-order? I don't even know. I think it was like the... I can't remember. I'm not even gonna try. I can't remember. Kaylee is gonna have another release, but invite only is still out of stock. What the fuck? I probably have to... I probably have to do that on the Kaylee website if I'm gonna do it. Every single time I wear Lancome La Vie est Belle, I get tons of compliments. That is a really beautiful perfume. I have that one as well. So good. Lisa! What's up, girl? <laughs> you finally found a way to buy Dior despite the Dior website ban. Listen, I'm still pissed at it because there ain't no shopping experience like Dior. Like, I'm so pissed that I cannot shop on their website. That was literally, literally my favorite place to shop. And I can't anymore. Chanel's number two, I think, so far. I was really hoping um, Hermes would be up there, but that was hot trash for, like, presentation and everything. I was like, wow, that was really disappointing. Selfridges is still, like, really good. They remind me of a lot of Beautylish. Like, what Beautylish used to be, like, when they would, like, individually wrap your shit. But then I also saw Tavia from Chic Profile Official. She was, um, she was posting on Insta Story the other day that, I think that they're going to be changing the way that they package their stuff. Like, it's not as, um, it's not as well protected and stuff. But mine still came really, really well packaged. So, I do like Selfridges as well. And I get my stuff so quick. But Dior, Dior was number one. I got the Valentino. I think that's what it is. Voce, Voce Viva? Maybe? Got it from my job for free and I love it. Is that the brand new one? I'm pretty sure that's it. I think that was the name of it. I got those new lemon luminescent eye shades from Chantecaille. They are killer. I got them too, boo. They are. They're really beautiful. They're a little spency. But I'm glad that I have them. I am glad that I have them. I wish Y or LYS had a holiday collection. I do too. That would be nice. That would be really nice. I heard the Rare Beauty mascara is amazing. I don't like it. It transferred so fast on me. Like... I got it from Octoly, I think. I have the mini size. I like the fact that they did a mini size, but I also have heard really mixed reviews on this one as well. For me, I had it on for like an hour and it transferred all underneath my lower lash line. So that's a fail for me. Sorry. Sorry to burst your bubble. <laughs> I'm in love with a rapper. <laughs> mm. I'm in Australia, so all the holiday releases drop so much later in Sephora. Fuck. If anyone hasn't thumbs up this video, see, Christy knows. Thanks, girl. I appreciate you guys all being here. You guys are the best. Shantikai Holiday is a car payment. I cannot with those pearls. <laughs> have I ever tried Paula's Choice? I have not, but I hear that... What product is it? There's one product I feel like most people talk about. It's like the... The liquid exfoliate, or like the, I think it's something similar to like the Lotion P50 1970 that I use. I, I can't remember the exact name of it, but it's like the chemical exfoliant. That's the word that I was looking for. I feel like that's what I hear the most popular. Yes, that's the one, Letitia. That's the one I smelled today and it's fucking everything. Mm -hmm. The Intense, I didn't like as much. I like the original one. See? Y'all, yeah, Patty, every husband should be like David. Okay, I'm scrolling. David, David, David. Everybody's saying, yes, David. I need me a David. <laughs> David for the win. <laughs> oh, Rose. Everybody 
Happy birthday to Rose tomorrow! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> 63 years young, girl! Yes! Oh my god, the fucking David is so funny. <laughs> Michelle, I can smell like ass and he still want to get it. <laughs> Oh, my favorite part of the live chats. I fucking live for it. I'm not buying Valentino now. Thanks, Amanda. <laughs> Can you do a Best of May Marilyn Monroe review? Nicole, I feel like you've asked me this like four times already. And I'm like, no. <laughs> I'm going to tell you this. The quality of their compacts is incredible. Like 25,000 out of 10. If I was a Marilyn Monroe stan, sure, I would buy it. But I'm not going to use it, girl. If you love Marilyn Monroe, get it. <laughs> oh, you crank me up. Let's see. I have a David. He pays for my makeup with a joint account. So technically, I'm buying at least half of it myself. <laughs> yes. Yes. Happy birthday, Rose. Letitia, of course I did. Of course I did. <laughs> I was like, oh shit, buy it immediately. I did buy mine from Selfridges. What's today, Monday? I bet you it'll be here like tomorrow or Wednesday. Something like that. I think I'm going to put the Hermes, Dior. I feel like I bought something else luxury lately. I don't know. I'm going to do a like a testing new luxury makeup, I think. I still need to use the Charlotte Tilbury palette too, like the holiday one. Bought that. Haven't even touched it yet. So bind. Mm-hmm. Chanel is getting close to number five. <laughs> ah! <laughs> You're missing the points program. Don't remind me. Listen, I don't understand why the fuck I am not. Yes. Yes, it is. I don't understand why I am not allowed to buy from Dior. Like, I think it's... I think I need to contact their, like, IT department. Because it's got to be something with, like, an IP address or some shit. I don't fucking know. Because I'm like, literally, what did I do to you? I do nothing but give you money. And you sit there and don't process my payments anymore. Like, I feel very attacked. It's a problem. And then I've tried calling and they don't want no part of it. <laughs> All the Kelly I want are out of stock in the site. It's for, uh... I want to try so many of them. I want to try, like, the black, pink, pepper, I think it is, and then the invite only. Invite only is, like, the number one on my list, though. Listen. No. No idea. Still no idea. Oh! Oh, excuse me. Oh, I forgot to mention this one. Westman Atelier. <gasps> Has anybody posted about that? I'll have to look. Oh, I got the burps. That's the only downfall of these truly lemonades is they make me burp. Shit, I forgot. Yes, there is. There's... Ugh, let's look real quick. Let's look. Westman Atelier. They have gift sets. Because that's where I'm like, oh, that's a good thing to get from Westman Atelier. Because their products are spancy. I'm pulling up the Sephora website as we speak. Hold on. Hold the phone. So you get the mini petite sticks... Mini petite sticks clean glow trio. I feel like there was another one, though, at Sephora... But this is what it looks like. Mini sizes of three different shades. You get two different sets. 78 bucks a piece. This is the best way to try Westman Atelier. Because it's like full sizes. I will probably never go through the full size. Or it's going to expire before I go through the full size. Great way to try multiple different products. This one I think has the shade Lit. Which is incredible. Of a face highlighter. I want to say I saw another one at Nordstrom, though, but I'm not going to waste everybody's time scrolling through a bunch of different websites. Oh my god, we've been here for two fucking hours. Okay, guys, that's it for tonight. Goddamn. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, the intense one is going to really... Oh, wait, hold on. The intense is the one Lady Gaga promotes. That's not what the display said. <laughs> I don't fucking know. I'll look. Oh my god, I miss so much. Ah! I'm sorry, guys, but guys, we've been here for almost two hours, okay? It's been enough. I'm going to need you guys to come through, like the video. I had so much fun chatting with you guys tonight. <laughs> I know I saw... Wait, I saw a super sticker. Hold on. Lisa! It's fine, it's fine. Everything's fine. Merch, please. <laughs> She's like, let me throw you money, but also give me merch so I can buy that, too. I cannot. I can't. I fucking can't with you. Okay, I'll think about merch. 
But let me just tell you this. Like, it's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. That is not a me thing. I got that from Karen Harris, 100%. She's the one that should coin that for merch. I'll let her know. Okay? <laughs> I can't make merch of her saying, yup. <laughs> Rose, I can't. Happy birthday tomorrow, beautiful. Aw, I appreciate you guys being here. Okay, I'm done now. I'm getting sidetracked. I'm done. I will be back at some point. I don't know if I will be tomorrow, but if I'm not tomorrow, the following day, do yourself the favor, turn on your notifications, follow my ass on Instagram. Don't forget, last video, there's a giveaway. It may or may not include Makeup Geek and Kaleidos. Check out the last video. I think I'm going to keep that open for... Hold on, let me look at my calendar real quick. I'm going to keep that giveaway open until Saturday night, and I'll announce the winner on probably Sunday on Instagram. So watch that video to figure out how to enter. Other than that, girl, you already know. <laughs> Personally attacked by Dior. <laughs> no, you know what it would be? What, what the fuck do I always say? Whore for Dior or d -whore is probably what it would say. d -whore. <laughs> I can't. Okay, guys, really? I can't do this anymore. I need to leave. <laughs> All right, follow me on Instagram, TikTok. Like the damn video, okay? Subscribe, turn on your notifications, and you can use the links down below if you'd like to support me and my channel. <laughs> I can't. Okay, guys, I'm really done now. Love your whole lives. Bye. <laughs>